Good morning traders and welcome to today's live trading. Today is the 6th of September and as usual we are on the FTSE 100. Um, there was no live trading video last week just with it being my birthday um, so I took a couple of days off towards the back end of the week and the weekend and uh, had a few days with my partner and such so um, yeah that's the reason there was no video last week but obviously back to uh, back to normal now. Um, so to quickly run you through my band analysis for today, you can see we've got a band uh, up towards 7.425 and a little bit above 7.470 and a couple below at 7.355 and 7.300. So we are we're a little bit of a distance away from one of the bands at the minute, so uh, there will be some waiting to do possibly if price opens and continues to move sideways for a little bit. What I'd obviously like to see is um, price make a, a move one way or the other before the open uh, and get close to one of these bands so that we potentially have some trading opportunities shortly after the open. Um, but it's, if that doesn't happen, it'll just be the usual thing of waiting for price to come uh, into the bands and just seeing how it reacts from there. Uh, you can see, it, if I could show you quickly the four hour, we've had a somewhat decent move down. So there is a little bit of sort of negative momentum here um, however I do like this band below for for a buy and I do actually really like this band above for a sell so we'll just have to see uh, what he decides to do okay so we're at 10 past 8 and I'm actually just going to put a buy order above this uh, pin bar here so the high is 71.8 I want to be in at uh, 73 Nice and easy to figure out that one. 73, 73. Uh, submit that. So if price starts moving above this signal now, we will be triggered in. Obviously, we're just looking for a move upwards. Uh, it'll be towards today's pivot at the 7400 level. The target and the stop will be usual, uh, the, the usual place below the signal. If price does start coming down though and closing below the signal, then I will look to uh, cancel the order, but that doesn't matter because it's been triggered now. So I'll bring the ticket across and uh, we can watch how this one runs. So at 22.11 now, we have started somewhat to move up. Um, you can see from the entry candle that we took, we did, we sort of moved into this level here, just below. Uh, we tested, we reacted, we came up, we tested again, we reacted, and this is the third time we've, we've come up now and we've finally started to look like we're going to move past it. However, we do look to have some resistance along the, yesterday's close there, so um, I wouldn't be too shocked to see a reaction there. Um, but the target I think is going to be up towards this 200 um, if we measure the see this, get the right tool the signal candle I think is about 14 oh it's actually 11 plus your 3 points 2 for your stop and 1 for your spread you're looking at about 14 points so up towards here we're looking around 20 points be a little bit less with the spread but that's a good risk to reward so that's that's the target there um, we've obviously moved a good distance towards that now so uh, hopefully I imagine that this close uh, level here from yesterday will probably be the last uh, real tough level for it to, for price to get past if it starts moving up again uh, through here and looking like it wants to, uh, to close through there then I would expect it to get up to the 200 um, but as you can see it's, it's even struggling with this first level still we've not actually had a close through it yet uh, and price is still just thinking about whether it wants to close through there or not. So uh, that is obviously the first hurdle. But um, other than that, it's not it's not moved terribly so far. I would have liked more um, decisiveness in the price action. There's definitely a lot of hesitation into this low. Um, basically, what you've got to weigh up in trades like this is is the level down here. Uh, better than the levels that are in the way of the trade and for me they are um, there's not that much weight on these two levels as you can see this the sort of the more um, 
really intraday levels, whereas um, the level here that we've identified on the four hour, I mean, it's a bit smaller, down where this red line is, this is actually, if I move across to the price section, it, it looks a lot stronger. You can see last time we were in here, we've, we've got three pins moving through this level and price was unable to close in there and it bounced higher. Uh, marry that with yesterday's visit to this level where, again, it bounced a significant amount. Um, yes, it's come straight back into it, which isn't a great sign, but that said, it's come back into it again and bounced straight away. So yeah, the level looks really strong. Um, and just because it looks stronger doesn't always mean that it will be stronger. As, as we're seeing here, this level is putting up a real fight at the minute. And actually, if you look at the price, the most recent price action um, that we're looking at here, you know, it's, it's moved through this level um, a few times. So you would have thought that it would have had less trouble with this uh, with this level than it is doing. But that's just trading for you. You know, we, we can't look through um, a crystal ball and see where it's going to struggle and where it's not going to struggle. Uh, we've just got to play the probabilities, and for me, that is, uh, you know, that's me trying to load the probabilities in my favour. Um, so it's looking like, I mean, this is obviously not precisely drawn, but it's not quite a close through really that level. You can see there's um, a lot of pins here now. Uh, what I'd like to see is a bullish candle that, that moves us through uh, this entire region really up above the 7385 level and then hopefully up towards a 7390 level. Um, but I'll go back to watching. Hopefully we can get this move uh, sometime soon and finish nice and early. Okay, so we're just coming up into that level now. I'm going to close the trade there. Uh, decent trade there in the end, but you can see how powerful these intraday levels can be sometimes. Um, price really had trouble moving through this initial one, but you know it's like when you talk about support and resistance, when a good level is broken, that often becomes support, and that's exactly what's happened here. So we've moved up through this sort of mini intraday level uh, up to the next one where I said uh, we we might see a reaction at this close. We did. We reacted all the way down to well, I say all the way down back down to this level uh, where price struggled previously um, you know if you move the line down a little bit and then it's reacted there and it's moved straight up through there that's the type of close you wanted to see uh, when you're going to move past uh, a particular level and it's moved up to the 200 which is the next potential uh, bounce point for the trade so the reason I didn't target any further really was because at this point um, the overall sentiment hasn't changed. And what I mean by that is, if we look at the 4-hour chart, you can see that price has been basically moving lower. Even on the 4-hour, you know, it's made a, made a low, made a lower high, made a lower low, made a lower high, we're making a lower low. Um, so that's in the back of your mind. And then on the 5-minute chart, we're down at those lows, We've come into a good level, so we, we sh could expect a bounce. So if we're going to get a bounce, we're sort of feasible to target without challenging the market sentiment too much. And really, this 200, which hasn't been tested for a while, um, looks a good place. Because if we can get up to there, we've not really taken out any highs. So we're not asking it to break past any highs. Um, all we're asking it to do is make the lower low, which it's done and then make a lower high, potentially, which it's done. Um, for all I know, it, it now rolls over, comes down into this band and, and looks to break through it. I've not asked Price to do anything particularly difficult um, other than break through these, these couple of intraday levels that we've got there. Now, if the market had been more neutral, or, yeah, so in the same situation but more neutral, then maybe I would have targeted the pivot or even the band above because there's less... Um, there's less evidence that the market's in, you know, downwards moving mode. Um, so there's may maybe more weight to targeting a, a higher target, but you've got to you've got to use the information that the market's giving you. Um, you know, I like to target the next next um, bands, but in this 
particular scenario, the band is quite a way away. We've actually got a round number in the way, and we've got a whole host of small intraday levels here because of um, how the market's moved recently. So you've just got to use that information. You sort of ask yourself, well, is this setup a good one? A, eh? is there enough risk? Um, is there enough reward on the table for the risk that I have to take? Bearing in mind what the market is telling me. Um, if I'd have just blindly said, um, let's say that the, you know, the signal it was actually like 20 points long, so we, we, we'd need like 22 points, or, well, we'd need more than 22 points, so we'd have had to tag it up above the um, pivot. And I just blindly took that, regardless of any other information the market was telling me, then, but, you know, potentially that trade might not have worked. It might have got to this point and rolled over. And I think we've discussed before in live trade videos, that can be really difficult to sort of, a, to watch that day and process and to not let it affect your future trading. Um, you know, you've got to protect not only your, your financial capital, but your mental capital as well, because, um, you know, we're not we're not perfect creatures. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, you, I think you get my point. But uh, I do hope the video was helpful. Um, on looking back at the price action, it doesn't look the nicest of price action, but it was a fairly routine trade that when you look back at it we've identified the levels where we think price might pause maybe bounce which it did um, and when you know that in advance I think that helps you when you see the bounces you're like okay it's bouncing but it's bounces from where I expected it to bounce um, or it's reacting here a little bit and you know I was expecting that and it can help um, it could just help you monitor the trade and not get anxious or scared out of the trade or anything like that um, I really think that's um, a big thing you should always do when you're looking at a trade. Sort of plan out where you think price potentially might struggle or where you're expecting it to struggle. And that should be in your decision process of when you take the trade. I.e. these two levels are in the way of the trade here. Do I think that the probabilities, you know, do I think that price has got more chance of moving through those and getting to my target than rolling over? That should be a question you ask yourself beforehand. And if it is, great. But also, don't forget to mark these levels on your chart so that you can be ready for them uh, when price gets there. So yeah, I'll stop rambling now. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, please do consider leaving a like on it and subscribing to the channel. Um, I do do these most weeks, um, apart from when things get in the way, like, like I said last week, my birthday or, you know, whatever uh, crops up. But I do do them most weeks, along with other videos to, uh, you know, to try and help traders get better. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next week.